Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. I've been working on making this all seeing eye hoop in a larger size. So I thought you might like to see the kombu process, which is the fusing or bonding of 24 karat gold foil onto fine silver. So I've got some pieces cut ready to make another pair of hoops. And I'm going to solder a strip of fine silver on top of the sterling silver. You can fuse bond the gold to sterling, but you would have to raise a layer of fine silver first. So if I can, I prefer just to work with fine silver. So I'm going to solder these two together, and then I'll show you the process. I want to cut a couple of strips of the gold foil to lay down across the top of the fine silver strip. So you'll want to cut it with the tissue paper on each side because this gold foil is super, super thin. probably need a third strip to split between the two. So we'll go ahead and cut that. Okay. I have my two strips soldered together and before I do the bonding of the gold foil I'm gonna do a light sanding across the top just to give it a little bit of tooth. that I do the kombu on and I've got my two silver pieces sitting on here warming up. You want to get it hot enough so that if you took a little dowel rod or chopstick and touched it that you'd see some smoke. You should be warm enough then to lay down the foil. The trick is getting it laid down straight <laughs> or even on the piece. <laughs> Look here. You could lay it down on the silver too before it got warmed up. it's up to the right temperature you should be able to just start putting pressure on there and you'll see it bond. Mine's not totally straight on there but that's okay. You can add more on top of it. And this agate will warm up so you don't you want to take it off every once in a while let it cool. If you have two, that's even better. You can switch out. It's just a matter of putting pressure on the foil and it'll bond to that fine silver.
these are super super hot you want to remove it with some tweezers and then I like to carry it over to my anvil and let it cool off right there And just let them naturally cool. Got the earring stamped, formed, ear posts on. They look really pretty right there. But we're gonna throw them in the patina, darken them up, and then into the tumbler. Thanks for hanging out in the studio with me this week and we finished the large two inch all C and I hoop with the kombu process. I've got a fun craft project for you next week making earring trees so that'll be a lot of fun. We'll see you next week.